Hello, I'm Rick James, the president of Simutech Group. Today I'll be going through a quick overview of our Simutrain platform that's for cloud-based training of Ansys products. We are the largest reseller in North America for Ansys. We're an elite channel partner and very proud of it. We've built our whole business around Ansys products, including training, mentoring, uh, other third-party software, testing turbo machinery services, uh, a full breadth of CFD and FEA consulting, as well as our uh, branded Simutech support. So our training platform is uh, very complimentary to all these features of our business. We really like to see uh, from a product perspective, deep, deep and broad ANSYS uh, product exper expertise, but we like to couple that with uh, engineering wisdom and experience we really couple that so that you know the goal is that when we really try to be in this area and here uh, the proverbial venn diagram uh, really combine the ansys products as well as the engineering expertise our vision at simutech is really that uh, we're trusted advisors who help our clients gain insight to improve product efficiency reliability and performance through sales consulting tech support and training using ANSYS engineering simulation software and physical testing. We take a lot of pride in this. This is a great description of where we've been and where we're going. Related to that, we have uh, some of a, what I call a, a kind of a wisdom expertise hierarchy, um, really starting at this ground level. And what we see is that ultimately at this first level is where we see simu training, a core product training you might even broaden this to you know an undergraduate degree or you know some specific skill um, and as you you know time there's kind of a time aspect of this you, you f go further up so we want to semi-train not only to be something that related to this core level but also how do you move up that chain or up the pyramid so to speak to more of the um, you know making wise decisions with being really an expert with the product so that comes through applications through good theory um, and really dialogue and discussion with other peers. So there's a huge part of uh, how we are looking to, to build that out. Ansys is the world's leader of simulation software companies. So the breadth and depth that they do have, uh, as you can see, not only from the fluid structures and electronics, uh, but also really the systems level stuff they're looking at, the, the products, you know, the CAD, the simplification, the HPC, the, the workflow. Uh, so really, all of these uh, get flagship products are addressed in Simutrain. Uh, this is uh, relatively new for us, so we're going to keep adding as we go. But um, these are all really key um, key focus areas for us. From the Simutech perspective, uh, like I mentioned earlier, we do a wide range of consulting services using the product. Our own branded Simutech support we're very proud of. Um, that we take a lot of pride in, uh, and SimuTrain, which actually we're going to dive into, but also SimuCloud, which is a part of this. So SimuCloud, we've been a partner with Amazon for seven years um, and actually helped some of the early EC2 development actually understand why F, what FEA and CFD was. So it's kind of the benefit of being here in Seattle, Washington. It's kind of looking at some evolving customer needs. So this may not be everybody's experience, but you know, from a macro view, this is certainly ours. Uh, if I go back, um, kind of mentioning there's like this pivot point around 2009 that, you know, before 2009, we typically had uh, long ramp periods in terms of when people knew they were going to have training, they could plan it far enough in advance. Um, you know, typically, if you looked at something like uh, what Fluent was with uh, their TUI, the text user interface and APDL, uh, you know, the, the, they were really good interfaces. They were some of the best in the market, but they, they clearly have um, you know, evolved since then. We also saw clients that typically had budget. Um, you typically forecasted when you would need something. It's like, I have a project coming in this fall, so let me in the spring take a class so I'm ahead of the curve. And uh, we don't see that anymore. Uh, some of that seemed to occur around the financial crisis, at least in the United States. Um, really people uh, changed their attitude towards not just cutting, cutting budgets, but those budgets did never come back. Um, so we certainly had a hard time filling classes, except where we did lend a hand, which is really helping people uh, that were out of work. We let them go to training for free. So we've had to rethink how we're going to do training. Part of that is where SimuTrain, SimuTrain was born out of. So uh, SimuTrain, as you'll see, obviously, if it's on the cloud, it's 24-7. Um, it's immediate. You want a class, you want to get into you know, CFD, you know, con uh, cavitation, you know, show me now what it is. Like You don't have to wait months and travel, and you can get the training now. 
Uh, it's also what we call like uh, reactive training. Sometimes, sometimes you need to know how to take a class or you know how to learn a skill after you know you, you bump into that. You know that you know the how do I do mini Rivlin? How do I do uh, Shabosh? You know material models, you know things like that. Like sometimes uh, you you can't forecast that you need to know that. We also see it more as a project driven. You know most. Uh, Simulation, most of our customers are not full-time 100% simulation. So um, the 25% or 10% that they're doing it, um, they need, when they're back on, they've got to relearn things that can be really helpful. Um, so really what we're looking at is uh, a, an ANSYS product training as well as how to get to that differentiated uh, ex expertise um, related to um, theory and you know application specific. So. Here's a short video demonstrating the use of Simutrain. So you can see the courses across the top, we've got a high level filter based on uh, physics, roughly the product line. Um, you can also see if we drill down on uh, some of the CFD, you can see that what comes up first is intro to Fluent. You can also see at the very top actually version control, but you can see on the back end, we've got um, video recordings. You can see um, this is HTML5, so it works fine on tablets, iPhones, as well as desktop. So full videos, uh, these have various links. You can see the actual workshops down here. So in this case, these are fully searchable. So if I'm looking for cavitation, I can actually search within the contents of those PDFs, launch that. Of course, once I'm within the PDF, I can find cavitation. So um, that's really, really helpful to actually find out information that's actually within the content of uh, Simutrain. Um, you can also see the other uh, version control again, in this case, um, you can see design modeler, space claim. Again, lots of videos. Some of these have uh, workshops, you know, the actual files to do them down at the bottom with the lectures. Um, on this page, I'd actually like to introduce the concept of a watch list. If you notice the green plus at the bottom of most of these courses or all these courses, these actually, you can add these to a watch list. So later on, we'll show you where that watch list is. But ultimately, if you're looking at creating more of a, a standardized workflow, a training workflow, you can see uh, a lot of these courses. So some of these have already been selected just for demonstration purposes. They, you know, they turn a different color. Ultimately, we jump up to the reading list. You can see here's a list of all those courses. So uh, eventually, we'll be able to save this um, and actually create you know standards for new employees. You can take these courses kind of in sequence, and uh, this is really how it's laid out. So, just want to introduce the the reading list concept. Another novel feature of Simutrain is actually the ability to quickly generate cloud computers using our SimuCloud platform to actually do the workshop problem. So uh, this is a beta feature, it's not there yet, but you can see on the where the dotted line is, so you can click on a computer and actually grab or generate uh, out on Amazon a computer uh, to actually, actually do the workshop problems and not use their production licenses. Once you've created a computer, it takes a few minutes for that to be configured out on the server. Eventually, you'll get a notice back saying your virtual session is ready. Uh, you can download, use a remote desktop connection. It uses the uh, secure SSL port through your browser, so you don't have to worry about uh, remote desktop connection or RDC port. So it's pretty robust that way for people behind firewalls. Uh, it's also incredibly safe. So you do get a two hour session. And uh, this is, again, one of the cool differentiating parts about Simutrain. Here's a list of total classes we have on Simutrain as of June 2016. You can see the name of the course, kind of the discipline, the physics that it's in, and then also kind of the level introductory or advanced. Uh, this is a current coursework, it'll only grow, and we, again, we keep version control of this. Here's that list that has a little bit more updated related to, as you can see, uh, introduction to ANSYS composite prep post, implore, you can see the version numbers in parentheses. I thought it'd be helpful to talk a little bit about the SimuTrain roadmap. 
Um, so we've got a few areas here. One is that, one of those areas is actually custom theory content development. So we're uh, we're not professors. We don't want to go off into the the, the basic fundamentals, but certainly uh, having some review of um, linear dynamics or turbulence models. You know the differences in standards. You know not really get into the math too de detailed, but maybe five ten minute uh, digestible topics. As well as uh, looking at the second point there, the custom application specific training. Uh, we've done this in the past, uh, just trying to standardize it a little bit with like pre-stress bolts uh, or how do you do FSI, you know, really getting into that. Um, we've also discussed doing some video interviews uh, just with Simutech employees or maybe even customers, what they're doing. Um, again, not trying to uh, go overboard or anything like that, but do things that are very interesting and relevant. Uh, the fourth topic there is really moderated forums. So uh, if you've seen on some of it, we show some beta of where you put in forums and that would actually tie back into the custom application specific training like pre-stress bolts. Let's go and hey, let's discuss that, um, the implications of it and having actually customers talk to customers if, uh, if that's something uh, of interest. Um, and then like I said, we don't have quite the, the link yet. It's actually a, a finalized beta for getting that uh, link to use SimuCloud, so you can actually do workshops on the cloud. Um, and I'd say the last point there is uh, help us define our roadmap. Uh, you know, ultimately we're designing this to be of interest and a valuable uh, asset to our customers. So um, if you have a suggestion, we'd, we'd love to hear that. So finally, I hope that this was actually informative and helpful and actually just gave you a little background on what is SimuTrain, uh, where are we going, and how can it help you. We'd encourage you, if you're interested and intrigued, uh, contact us. Send us an email at webleads at simutechgroup.com. You can certainly go to our website and do a contact us form or any of the ways to, you can see out there. And then uh, contact us at our um, toll-free phone number there. I thank you for your attention. Hopefully this is value-add and look forward to working with you. Thank you.